The phrase HOA is a four letter word to many, but let's face it, if you're a first time home buyer in Southern California, and especially if you're looking for a condo or townhome, you really don't have much of a choice as like 100% of those properties will have HOAs. What you wanna do is avoid buying a property thinking that it's 250 a month, and then it going all the way up to 500 a month in just a few years. Just to be clear, HOAs are only allowed to raise the dues a certain amount each year. And this usually happens when the amount that they're collecting really isn't on par with all the expenses going out, or in some worst case scenarios, the, the unanticipated expenses that we're going to talk about. This video is how to avoid three red flags that I've seen as a real estate agent over the years that you can avoid when buying a property. Number one, the roof condition, especially if it's composition, that's the type of thing to really look out for because composition and especially wood shake roofs, they have a finite lifetime and you want to look for signs of wear. Of course, the blue tarp on the top of, uh, of a roof in an HOA is a big red flag. You know that there's repairs that are, are coming up in there. But then if you see the, the color really faded, that's usually signs that the roof is towards the end of its life. And you also want to look for signs of leakage when you're going inside touring a property. Look up and check if there's water stains up there, because if that's coming up, then you could see a big assessment coming up or a big increase in dues. Of course, this assumes that the roof is covered by the HOA, which is like 99% of the properties that I've seen where if the properties are attached to each other. Number two, Wood siding and garage door issues, whether it's termite damage, wood rot, or just general damage that you're seeing throughout the complex. This is really something to look out for because over my real estate career, I've seen these two result in special assessments. One property I had sold back in 2020 in Yorba Linda, uh, we were looking at the properties and then we saw a wood siding project going on where we figured, okay, they, the HOA is taking care of it. Looks like they're painting it and they're replacing the wood siding with vinyl. So when my buyer had bought the property, we had found out that the project unfortunately went over budget and not only over budget, they went 700,000 above budget and the, the HOA had to get a loan. So since 2020 and it's now 2024, their dues have gone up by $100 a month. And I don't think that the increases are finished just yet because $700,000 is a lot to make up for. So definitely look out for wood siding. I've also seen garage doors, especially those old wooden tilt up ones result in a special assessment. There's a HOA called Somerset in, in Brea where they did the garages and the roofs during the same project. And then they ended up doing a special assessment. When the HOA decides to do a special assessment, you have to keep in mind that if you sell the property and you, you haven't paid off that special assessment, you have to pay it off at the sale. Um, that's what the clause of many HOA's um, contracts do and make the homeowner uh, pay that off and not be able to transfer that over to their buyer. Number one and two deals with deferred maintenance. And you just hope that the HOA has been preparing for this and just has a big adequate reserve. Unfortunately, the only way to tell if they have an adequate reserve is when you get into escrow, the HOA will give you all of the HOA documents. They'll give you their budget. Uh, it'll show what their balances are in their accounts, and then also tell you what's been in their meeting minutes. And if you have a thorough listing agent, they know that those things will be objections by buyers. So there, I have seen good listing agents be preemptive and say whether or not that the that the, the seller is going to credit uh, some of that special assessment or that the HOA has adequate reserves to be prepared to for that kind of expenditure. But the key to in any kind of condo transaction when you're dealing with HOA issues is the listing agent to be not only condo knowledgeable and have experience with it, but then to be preemptive dealing with these buyer objections. That way you don't have to undersell the property. The third red flag is no increases in HOA dues over the last 10 years. So if you're looking back and it's 2024 right now, if you're looking at the year 2014, and of course you'll need the help of a, of a real estate agent to 
go do the research and look at sales back in 2014. If it's $250 today and it was $250 back then, the math really doesn't work out in most cases because inflation has really has really brought up the cost going towards insurance and counting the money. So you're talking about property management dues, you're talking about your your reserve studies, your audits, all that stuff that go into the administrative side of maintaining HOA. It's unfortunate, but then again, that this is HOAs are here to stay until someone comes up with a better solution. So if the HOA board has been voting against increases the last 10 years, and then all of a sudden the reserve study comes in and says, you're really underfunded, that HOA is gonna now have to get caught up. And, and uh, sometimes they, I've seen some HOAs where it's been an old board and they've been saying no for a very long time. And all of a sudden they're pretty close to being insolvent there. So I've seen some HOAs, I'm thinking about one in brands specifically where they didn't do increases for a really long time and that they really had to do the maximum for three, four years straight. And before you know it, they went from 150 a month all the way up to you know, past 400 in just a number of years. So look out for no increases in the last 10 years. Again, you're, you'll probably need your real estate agent to go verify that. But other than that, uh, just keep in mind that there's a lot of moving parts with any purchase of a condo in an HOA because these red flags, some of them could also affect the financing of your property uh, because these days, especially with that big condo collapse that happened in Miami, lenders are passing on a big condo cert. The thing's 10 pages long, has a bunch of questions in there asking about you know, the conditions of the roof, the plumbing, the, the soundness of the property, and that they just really want to make sure that they're lending on something that's not going to have a, a bunch of problems in the future. And of course, litigation, that's a subject for an entirely different day. And I have a video on that. But then I hope this has been helpful for you. Look out for these three signs. A good buyer's agent will also help you look out for these things and then help you also review those HOA docs that come during escrow. So again, I'm Edwin Valoy, midriseliving.com. Go to my website for videos like this, lifestyle blogs, and of course, the value of your condo or townhome if you own one, or the current listings for sale and for lease.